All right, we're back in the lab. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about edge maps. Um, I've got the demo version uh, oil floated up here. If you downloaded the free version off the Play Store, you've seen this this before. The edge, the edge view, the idea behind the edge view is to give you an, a map of each access point as it stands on its own. Um, what we wanted to do was provide you some different views where you could go through and take all your samples one time, come back to your desk, and then filter and look at the signal strength reach from each radio on its own. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu, which is the three little lines up here. We're going to open that up. Right now I've got tap points and survey path enabled. I'm going to turn those off and I'm going to enable the APH. In addition to the APH, you'll need the signal DBM enabled and you'll need your access points enabled. They both have subfilters associated with them, which we'll get into in just a minute. So first, before we enable any subfilters, I'm just going to turn the AP edge on. And when you look at this, uh, if you've seen the other video, you know that this looks similar, at least, to a heat map. And the reason for that is because right now I'm looking at all the access points. I've got them all enabled. And that's not really the purpose of the edge filter. Um, so what you end up with is kind of a dysfunctional looking heat map if you have all your APs enabled. I wanted to show you this first so you'll see this is really not what you're trying to accomplish when you're using the AP edge filter. We're going to go back into the menu up here, the three little lines, and now I'm going to go under access points. I've still got my AP edge enabled. I'm going to go under access points and I'm going to open up the subfilters. And here I'll see the MAC address associated with every single radio that I saw when I did my, when I went through taking my taps. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to turn them all off except for one. Alright, now here is where you really see the beauty of the APH. Keep in mind that all I did was walk through and I took my taps one time. Uh, I registered all my samples in my environment once. You know, I want to be able to come back to my desk and then look at heat maps, edge filters, channel maps. You know, I want to look at all those things after I've walked through my facility one time, but I only want to go through once. Now that I've got my edge filter enabled and I've narrowed it down to looking at one access point by itself, now I can see this one access point, I can see the range and signal strength associated with that range off this one radio and I've ignored everything else in my survey. So now I'm getting, I'm getting basically just a big picture from this one access point. And I can take this a step further off this one access point and go into my signal DBM and now say I only want to see uh, you know, if I decided that negative 75 dBm is my minimum threshold for wireless coverage uh, that's usable to me, I'll disable everything below 75, reapply that, and now what I've done is I've cleaned that up a little, and now I'm just looking at what I've decided is my usable wireless range off this one radio. I'm going to go back in this filter, and I'm going to change my access point now to a different one. I'm still going to leave the signal strength setting at 75 dBm. Now I'll turn this one on up here. So now what we're doing is, you know, we're well down here a minute ago. Now I can see what the reach is, the usable reach, I might add, off this one radio. And I can go through and I can toggle on each one of these access points and look at them individually. I mean, I can if I choose to do so. I can even go in here and I can enable, you know, multiples at once and look at that. And I can kind of see you know, where each of these has got, here's the strongest signals coming out to this area, same with this, you know, in the middle, I'm kind of, in, you know, the 75, 65 range, somewhere in there. Um, but it will show me a little bit of the overlap. The channel map is really a better tool to look at your AP overlap, and we'll get into that in another lab. Um, when I'm in the field personally, and I'm using the, the edge filter, I would say close to 99% of the time, if not 100% of the time, you know, my objective there is to look at an access point by itself. I want to look at each one individually, see where that reach is. I'll use my heat map to look at everything, the big picture. I'll look, you know, I'll use the heat map to look at all of them together. I'll use the edge map to look at the radios individually. And then typically I'll, I'll use the channel map to get a better idea of what my overlap looks like, in addition to seeing what my channel configuration is. I'll go ahead and Turn my signal strength back up 
So I can look up everything from this access point. And you can see, and again, uh, we talked about this a little bit in one of the other videos. Our maps get drawn out. You end up seeing some odd shapes. And the reason for that is because we kind of use an absolute logic in the background. We don't assume anything. Uh, if you don't, if this access point's not audible in this area when you're registering taps, the heat map's not going to draw out that way. Edge map's not going to draw out that way. Channel map's not going to draw out that way. So that's, you know, again, just to kind of point out something we talked about on the heat map video, you need to take lots of samples. You can never take too many. I mean, I've taken, I've been known to take two or three hundred, you know, in a medium sized, or at least what I call medium sized office environment. Um, just to make sure my maps dry the best they possibly can. The more taps I take, the more data you're feeding into the app, then the better the data is that it gives back to you. So just try to keep that in mind when you're walking around taking taps. What you don't want to do is you don't want to just walk down the hall taking a few taps along the way, hoping that that will tell you what the wireless looks like in the offices coming off the hallway. You need to make sure you go into each room, take taps, especially around the perimeter of the building if you can. You know, hit all the corners of your rooms, you know, that kind of stuff. It doesn't take much longer to make sure you, you know, you cover everything and it gives you a lot better feedback. Once you get back to your desk, you're gonna have all the data you need, slice it and dice it any way that you want to get the maps that you're looking for. So that pretty much sums up the edge filter. Uh, again, just one last time, edge filter, ideally used for looking at access points individually. Heat map, better for looking at all the access points together. Thank you.